So we're talking to Mike Gass. Now, again, the book is called Sounders FC, Authentic Masterpiece. And you can see Gass uh, Tuesday night at the uh, Market Arms Pub in Ballard for the, the big launch party of the book. Plus, the Sounders are going to be there. Uh, tickets are available at brownpapertickets.com. Portion goes to good charity to help out kids in school that don't have a lot. And, of course, Sounders, uh, you know, execs, players going to be hanging out at this big event. And uh, Gass said he might buy you a beer if I you might. got a ticket. He I might. might. That's the kind of guy I am. Could so it, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a great party. At least it could be first come, first service. Well, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. The most charming gets the drink. That's so right. I, so I do want to ask a question about this because you brought up a very good point about why is my favorite team run like this. I take a look at the fact the Sounders are part of a big organization like the MLS, mm-hmm. Hawks, the NFL, Mariners, MLB. Right. So we know that not every football club is having this kind of success. Right. So are the Sounders doing something different than other MLS teams? And can other teams in other big leagues break away and do their own thing, or do they have to follow the league line, if you will, the league marching orders? I, I, I think that that last point is probably a good one. I don't know 100%. I don't know if, if a team, let's just say a team in the NFL said, we are going to let our fans every four years vote on the fate of our general manager. That would assume that any NFL general, general manager lasts for four years. Yeah, they, right. But but uh, I don't know if the league might step behind and say, no, you can't do that. that that's bad. We, we uh, Are you kidding? Give people power? What are you, the whole point? of this is we have all the power. We're not giving them any power. Uh, but this is you know what they've done, and, and it was an idea that came from Drew Carey. When Drew Carey got involved in this, he brought the idea from Bar- from Europe, from Barcelona. I think Madrid does it, where they, they allow the fans to vote on the fate of the general manager. And it's every four years, but it's also, in the Sounders' case... If if they were to really start struggling, the the alliance and the and the fans can get together and say, let's have an election now. And and here's the thing: they also engaged and and enabled the Emerald City supporters, the group, the the, the largest of the supporter groups. And there are a few supporter groups, but the ECS is the biggest one, and they're the ones that sit at the Brome and that, that just on TV, yeah. whenever they should, the game on TV is so much fun because I mean at the stadium it's more fun. But when you see in there, they're jumping up and down. I've done that once and I damn near died. I was not going to make it to my next bird. I, like, oh, I, oh, I am too old to be doing this. That's a fact. It's just like um, you're in a mosh pit. Right, right. Uh, you know, they early on, and the book really tells the story of this, that they were, you know, this is professional sports. They were a little leery of giving a fan group a lot of power. And the fan group from the start says, we want to support you, but we want to do it on our terms. And and they and they listen. The, you know, originally, as a typical professional sports team, they wanted everybody to sit in assigned seats. The ECS, through negotiation, convinced them, you need to make our section general admission. It needs to be a ticket that everybody can afford. We'll police it. We'll work with ushers to make sure nobody gets out of hand. And they do. They go to games, and they have guys from within the ECS who interface with the ushers who say, I, I got this section. If you've got a problem, let me know. I'll help you with it. Oh, wow. They, and they, there's a great quote in there from them where they say, look, we built this for us. We're not going to let some selfish knucklehead ruin it. It, 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 it. It's, I'll tell you, as I said, I knew this was a good story. And the deeper and deeper I got into it, I'm like, this really is amazing. And I don't know. There's some thought that maybe this is a once, once in a blue moon thing, that there's no other team that could do this. I disagree. If I was a professional sports team, I'd buy 100 copies of this book because I'd want to help me. Right. And, um, <laughs> And I'd read it, and I'd say, you know what, we, we may not be able to do all of this, but there's stuff we can do in here that, that would make us a better organization tomorrow. The B.J. Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.